I did listen to your Commerce Committee hearing this morning and you talked a lot about data privacy and frankly having an FTC or a national yeah. regulatory body overseeing mm -hmm. this. Why do we need a national regulation? Uh, the reason we need to have a federal basic privacy standard is because of preemption. And one of our witnesses made the point that when you have state legislation and you have 50 different state uh, policies, the internet does not know where the state line begins and ends. So therefore, uh, you need to have that regulation that is going to be a federal preemption. One of the witnesses also pointed out that they had used their iPhone, which had an area code from one state, to make a purchase from a retailer in a second state to send it to someone that lived in a third state and she said, and oh, by the way, she was domiciled in a fourth state. So think about that. And the onerous regulation it would be to try to have four different states handling protection of that data as it came through a server or a system or a retailer in their state. Now, when you look at this, maybe the credit card processor was even in a fifth state. Maybe the entity that is going to ship that product, that do the fulfillment, is in a different location. Right. So federal have to ask, is important. Right. I do want to ask if consumers would have the ability to access and delete that data under a federal law. You know, this is one of the things we're looking at, basic federal protection. And as you heard, all the witnesses except one today agreed that the FTC is the best federal agency and giving them the tools they need to do that job and the authority they need to do that job. There's one witness that said they would want to look at that more closely, but indeed there needed to be a federal agency to oversee it. Basic privacy legislation needs to include one set of rules for that entire ecosystem with that one regulator, the FTC. Then we discuss some of those protections around sensitive data, which would be things that you would want to opt in and give that explicit consent in order for that to be kept or to be shared or then for non-sensitive data like shopping histories, things of that nature, you would have the ability to opt out and yeah. to disallow the retailer or the uh, online transactional unit to share that data.